Please welcome my good friend, Dr. Travis Stork, the host of the Emmy Award-winning show, The Doctors. He's joining us because I wanted a expert mind to interpret and analyze the results of Samantha's ultrasound. And Travis, you've done that, correct? Dr. Dute was kind enough to send along some ultrasound images and also give his thoughts on what he was seeing. Mm -hmm. If we pull up the image, there's really no way to sugarcoat what's at stake here with Samantha's unborn child. Dr. Dute was doing the ultrasound, and if you look at the spine and follow it, the lower spine does not extend all the way to the tailbone like you would normally hope or expect, which may signify caudal regression syndrome, which I know you've heard that term, but that's when the lower spine does not develop appropriately. That may mean that the baby is unable to walk or use its legs. It can also be associated with lower extremity deformities. Dr. Dude also sent along images of the leg. And if you look closely, in the image on the right up there, the lower leg where that red circle is, the bony development of that lower leg is not equivalent to the other bones in the body, which oh suggests that there very well may be some deformities in the lower legs. This is, again, one of those things where until a baby is born, you can never say with certainty what is going on. It's, it's, it's heartbreaking, and I've been sitting here in the audience listening to to your story and as a physician, as a human being, I am literally heartbroken. I don't want to ever imply cause effect. Caudal regression syndrome can happen randomly. It occurs one in every 25,000 births. There is an association with diabetes in the mother. All she could do right now is be 100% compliant uh, to get with an OBGYN, get on an aggressive program uh, of support, whether it's biochemical support, hormonally, uh, biochemically, or otherwise, and do everything you can possibly do from this point forward. Correct. 